history of the pi number. The number pi has a deep history that dates back to 4,000 years ago when ancient Babylonian and Egyptian civilizations were measuring circles. While they were measuring circles, they noticed a peculiar rule. They measured the diameter and also the circumference, diameter being the line that connects two dots to a center of a circle, and the circumference being the length of the circle if the circle was opened up and formed into a straight line. They noticed that the ratio between the circumference and diameter was around 3, no matter the size of the circle. They approximated the value to be around 3.125, which is pretty close to today's measurements. Then later, an ancient Greek mathematician called Archimedes developed a new method to calculate the value of the number pi. He used two polygons and measured their parameters. Basically, he measured the value of the inscribed and circumscribed polygons. Inscribed meaning that the polygon is surrounded by a circle, and circumscribed meaning that the circle is inside the polygon. He first used hexagons, and then started to double the sides of his polygons to 12, 24, 48, and finally by using a 96-sided polygon, he approximated the value of the number pi, stating that it was in between the value of the two perimeters in between 3.1408 and between 3.1429. Today, with the advancements of technology and development of calculus, we can round up the number pi to around 22.4 trillion digits by using various algorithms and computer programs. Today, the usage of the number pi mainly is used by NASA, which rounds it up to 15 digits and uses it to measure the circumferences of galaxies and universes. It is amazing that this number has such a significance in scientific research. Interesting facts about pi number. It can never be expressed exactly in the terms of a fraction, like one integer over the other. That means it is an irrational number, and indeed it goes on forever without repeating patterns of digits. 3.14159 and so on. It's already been calculated to quadrillion decimal places. How do we know that it is irrational and by that definition it never ends? Well, that's been proved by in 18th century by Johann Heinrich Lambert by using a combination of trigonometry and a positional logic. He also correctly suggested that a p is a transcendental number. That means no quadratic equation, for example, 2x minus 4x plus 2 equals 0, can have p as its solution. And although we know it as the Greek letter p, this name first appeared in 18th century. If you want to test which digit of P you can find your birthday or any other number, check this great web website, My P Day. Albert Einstein was born on 14th March, 1879, and Stephen Hawking passed away on March 14, 2018. So, the day does share some coincidence. Moreover, both of them passed away when they were 76 years old. The importance of pi number. Imagine pi is very important when dealing with round 2D and 3D shapes. It is needed in any task that includes calculating uh, the volume and air area of uh, cylinders, uh, spheres, cones and similar shapes. It is also used to determine the rotations of uh, a circular objects. Pi is so important in astronomy. NASA uh, is using pi uh, in many of their exploration quests. For example, pi was used uh, in modeling distributions for the rovers landing on Mars. And now to experiment. We'll uh, try to get the formula of pi using the simplest method possible. Uh, the purpose is just to give you the intuition of what pi is. After this, uh, we'll bet you'll always uh, remember the formula of for circled circumference. We are going to do a demonstration for the pi number. For this demonstration, you're going to need a calculator, a piece of string, a ruler, and then a circle to do the measuring on. So, to begin with, we are going to be using a ruler to measure the diameter of the circle. In our case, the diameter is 35 centimeters. Next, we'll use a piece of string to me measure the cir circumference of the circle. So that is it. We take this. And then the circumference of the circle is uh, 110 centimeters. So we take that, 
110 centimeters divided by 35 centimeters equals 3.14, which is the exactly the number of pi.